tutorial is about how to perform an uh, perform a SQL injection. So to perform a SQL injection, we need a website or web page which is SQL injection vulnerable. So in this case, I am going to be using DBW web application which has many vulnerabilities present. So there is this SQL injection. So there is just one ID field. So if I press 1, so it's giving me some result. So definitely it's connected to a database. So what I have to do to perform an SQL injection, first I have to get an error out of it. So and then I have to analyze what kind of error is showing me. In that error I have to see that uh, the data which I am sending, if it's 1 then how my data is going, is it within single course or double course? or maybe multiple codes so I'll start with first slash and see what error it gives me so clearly my data is within single codes out here so what I have to do now I have to break the query the syntax so if it's already within single codes then if I add another code a single code then it should give me an error so let's try yeah, it's giving me an error. So once I get an error, now I have, what I have to do, I have to just balance it and see if like it stops giving me an error. So I will start with hyphen hyphen plus. So it's still giving me an error. I will try with hyphen hyphen space hyphen. Okay, no error. So once it's completely balanced, now I have, what I have to do I have to find the number of columns present. So to find the number of columns, I will be using I'll be using order by command. So I will do order by one, then again do hyphen hyphen hyphen. Just not giving me any error. I will move forward. Order by No error again. Okay, so it's giving me unknown column 3. So that means the total number of columns present out here is 2. Because still 2 I didn't get any error and for 3 I'm getting an error. So once I got the total number of columns, I have to determine that which column is vulnerable. So to determine that use union or select see whatever the number of columns you find if it's 3 5 or maybe 10 we have to put all those columns out here if it's 10 then I have to put 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and so on so out here it's still 2 so I will use 1 comma 2 and see I am getting this response 1 and 2 both are getting printed that means my both columns are vulnerable so this vulnerable columns in this vulnerable columns I can print my data whatever I want the database name or the column name table name anything I can print so like finding the vulnerable column is very important so that you will be able to print the data in those particular columns once you are done finding the vulnerable column, now I will start printing the data. So first I have to find out the database name. To find out the database name, this command you know as select. Then database is similar to SQL queries which we normally use. database name dbwa I can even print the data in another line too so there is no hard and fast rule that I have to print it in number 1 only first column only I can print it in second column 
because both are vulnerable. So once I'm done finding out the database name, I will move on to finding out the table name now. So the command will be a little different this time. Now I have to use group concat. This group concat is meant for printing all the data in one line. Otherwise, it will keep giving me only one data. So in group concat, concat I will mention table underscore name. Then from information. This is the old command. See, I got the table name, guest book, and users. Information schema is just like a dictionary, a database dictionary which contains all the details about tables, columns, and everything. So I am trying to fetch the table name using that this dictionary, giving the database name dbwa. Okay. After getting the table name, I'll be using this table name and try to find out what are the columns present inside this table. So do this union select group And this time I'm gonna be using column underscore name for finding out the column. From information so, out here it won't be tables again it will be columns cause we are finding the column name where table underscore name I got the column name, user ID, first name, last name, users, password, okay. So in my last syntax, it was table underscore schema and where I give the database name. But out here, since I know the table name now and I'll be finding, I'm finding the column name. So there will be few changes. I'll be directly mentioning out here the table name and the name of the table users after finding out table name and columns I will directly go to the last portion which is dumping the data so in dumping the data I will be needing both the column name and table name For now, I will be only users. Group underscore concat in bracket. I will be writing users and from table name users and so it printed all the available users in the database. So this is how our SQL injection is done. Thank you.